Hi, welcome back. Welcome to Modern 50 TV. And uh, today I want to show you how to do this look. Cut crease eye for mature hooded eyes. And let's start with tutorial. So I will use today Smashbox mini palette. And uh, this side in purple hues. First we will start by adding some lighter shade. Into brow bone of our eyes. You can also apply it all over your crease, but we will clean mobile lid afterwards, so I don't apply it eyeshadow right here yet. And um, the idea of um, cut crease is to make a fake visible mobile lid. So if you can see on my eyes, this eye has uh, pretty much no lid visible and this one has more. So the cut crease is designed for hooded eyes like this one to make them look like this one, <laughs> if it makes sense. Uh, I'll try to match it up as much as I can my eyes, but uh, it's uh, really hard to do for me. I'm not a makeup artist, uh, just learning as much as you do by watching some other YouTube videos and practicing. So let's continue. The second step will be to apply transitional shade and uh, that will be this color. Second lightest one all over your crease. So when you have to look in the mirror straight, sometimes I bend my head a little bit forward uh, so to find where your uh, hood is creasing, uh, start to hide underneath your eye or inside your eye, I guess. And uh, crit cut crease will be two one or two millimeters uh, above that line but uh, that will be next step. Right now we just put in transitional color all over your crease. Concentrate more color at the end, outer corner of your eye, and thin out to the inner corner of your eye. Here just a little bit. And I'll repeat that on the other eye, and we'll be right back. And don't try to be precise here, because we will clean underneath after. You will see it later. The uh, trick here, just to apply transitional shade and go blend it out all up, so there is no harsh line between a light shade this shade that we put in and this transitional shade. So when it's almost nothing on the brush, I just go above and blend it out. Now for the second part is a cutting crease actually. So right now I use this brush and for the step two and one, and I will use for this step um, this brush. I will put a name above and also you'll see it, find all the products that I use in the description down below. And we will go to the darkest color, this one color. And here is the important part is to look straight into the mirror. Mirror is right here for me. And just try to draw the eye. I start with my hoodie tie. and go just in small strokes. The thinner lines the better you can use. You can use a lipstick brush for that. It will be much thinner line and more precise. 
I'll do it on this side. So here it looks weird, right? It's not connecting, will connect um, later. And um, now the hardest part of matching them up. My eyes. Do you see when I use a smaller brush, it's much uh, thinner line, which is better. And uh, in the inside in the corner, I go inside the hood, so not one millimeter above the fold, but right on the fold, so it's kind of tapered on the outside of the eye and go slightly higher in the middle. But over here, I don't, on this eye, I don't need to do that because my mobile lid is visible. Now, I'm not going to do it on the video, but uh, I will go back and forth and try to match it up my eyes as much as I can. Now I'm taking just a smudge and brush and slightly blend out this line. So once again, at the bottom of this line, we will go and clean it up soon enough. So the most important part is to blend the top. And for that now we will go let me just clean my brush. And I use this, uh, see? I don't know what it's called, just to clean my brush. And I will go with uh, lighter, or darker medium tone, and right above the line that I just made. I don't press on brush that much so it creates a thinner line and uh, if your skin is getting loose and uh, really drags behind the brush then just stretch your eye not the prettiest thing but after all you're alone at home when you do that i hope you can see how my eye is, is creasing hold on a second let me get something sharp my eyes is creasing right here and the dark parts tops dark eye shadow stops right one millimeter above that crease mm -hmm. this eye is like problematic for me okay if you don't like later something you can always go and blend it out more so we will see and uh, majority of people or makeup artists on YouTube, they just take um, concealer and clean this part up. But because I find with mature eyes, the more product you put, it doesn't look that good. It starts to crease in our lines and so on. So I like to use just uh, micellar water and Q-tip, just soak q-tip in micellar water and uh, clean this up sometimes you can buy q-tip with a sharper and that one will be better but even this work just go into small strokes this way it's easier with uh, mature skin too to be more precise 
and always look into the mirror straight into the mirror with eyes relaxed sometimes I try to help them out a little bit because my eyes get droopy as day goes on so I'm trying to see where it will be three hours from now Now we will go with a lighter color, with the lightest you have. You don't have to use the same palette if you have a mix of loose eyeshadows, your favorite ones, use those ones. You can also do this with colors, blue, green, whatever you like. Okay, I'll use my finger. My skin doesn't want to work today. So just a... You cannot do with the finger right here, these lines. But on my bile lid, it's just fine. Speeds up the process. And that's how it's done. <laughs> it looks very silly, to be honest. On young eyes, it's for some reason, it looks much better. Um, I've watched lots of um, tutorials and they all like, oh, you can stop here. Well, I don't think so. So right now I will use um, just to connect this line with um, my upper lash line. I'll go back to dark medium shade right here. And create almost as a triangle here. And blend it out a little bit. I would say this makeup is more for intermediate knowledge of makeup application, not a beginner, for definitely not a beginner. If you just do the cut crease with a medium shade, very subtle then you can create natural kind of day look. I'm going back with um, the darkest almost black eyeshadow. Trying to blend it out. I want to darken a little bit this corner just leave. I need a bit of light line. Okay, well, I think I'll do a little bit of tight lining. I will use long lasting essence eye pencil. It's great. It's waterproof. I learned from somebody, I don't remember. I watched so many YouTube videos, I don't remember from whom I learned how to tight line with your eyes almost closed and just draw. And now I will do the little bit of a shimmer in the corner. I like good shimmer. And again, the Lipstick brush is um, best to go into the small corner. 
you know how it's eyes and skin underneath the eyes become very creepy and uh, crocodile like don't like to put shimmer down beneath my eyelash beneath my lash line it's not doesn't look good so the lipstick so the lipstick brush really helps to make precise application of the eyeshadow and blend it out a little bit so it doesn't look too hot to be honestly I prefer to use <coughs> some shimmery eyeshadow on my <coughs> On my mobile lid, just say blend, blend, blend. Mm. Oh, no. oh, by the way, I'm using Lancome palette. It's um, not on sale anymore, but it's my this color, the silver one. Oh, so good. Did not find anything comparable to it. So I decided to just add this white color eyeshadow on mobile lid. I think it's I think it looks better. And that's how I apply makeup. You start with one and then sometimes you have to add and change something. And I will go right now back and forth and uh, try to achieve the look that uh, I'm happy with. And try to balance my eyes. I think it's uh, good enough. What do you think? Yes? No? Just press the button, thumbs up or thumbs down, whatever you like down there. I'll appreciate anything. And now for mascara. Yahoo! Yahoo! Almost there. Almost done. And I use Maybelline Blush Sensation on mascara. I like the wand. And it's also easy to remove. I used, before I purchased this one, I used Essence Mascara, which is produce the same result as far as uh, volumizing and uh, making my lashes longer. But the Essence Mascara is very hard to remove at the end of the day. And this is not much better. Okay, so I will finish with my mascara. And then I will clean a little bit, there is fallout, uh, the Smashbox eyelash, the Smashbox um, eyeshadows always produce fallout, so I need to wipe it off and uh, apply concealer, and I will be right back. Okay, I'm right back, what do you think? Not bad, right? It's a little bit camouflages the hood and make my eyes slightly more even. I highly recommend it. I don't think it's good for everyday makeup. It's too much work and looks too dramatic. But for evening on special occasion, try it. Maybe you'll like it. And that's it for today. Bye-bye and see you next video.